Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another review of the LEGO DC Superhero series. Today, we'll be looking at minifigure number 16, Batmite. Batmite first appeared in the Detective Comics issue 267 back in 1959. This imp from the fifth dimension idolizes Batman. He is constantly setting up ridiculous events to see his favorite hero in action. Now, he's not technically a villain, but a misguided fan. Once he realizes that he's actually annoyed Batman with these stunts, he'll leave in shame. Although it appears that Batmite is a powerful magical being, he is actually using advanced scientific technology from his world that is beyond our understanding. Now I'm shocked it took till 2020 to get him in minifigure form. He is heavily featured in the 2014 LEGO DC Comics Batman B-Leaguer TV special and a major character in the LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham video game released that same year. The non-bendable kid legs are an obvious choice for this extremely small character. Now the original dual color used to create the lower part of his Batman costume is great. The blue boots and hips separated by the light bluish gray pants are perfectly proportioned. The only downside to these non-bendable legs is that they severely limit the use of the 1L bar with the angled hollow studs included in the series. This bar piece was supposed to allow people to display the minifigures in more dynamic poses, but that might just looks like he's falling down. The torso piece gives us another unique piece that is jam-packed with amazing details. The sewn on bat symbol is great. The messy outline of a bat on a white oval stitched onto a light bluish gray shirt captures that homemade Halloween costume feeling. I love that Lego took the time to put lumps and creases into the shirt on the front and back. This small detail highlights the loose fitting shirt instead of the skin tight clothing usually worn by superheroes. The crooked utility belt with its ends hanging sloppily out of the buckle complete this ensemble perfectly. This torso piece also matches his previous LEGO television and video game appearances. The blue cape is the same shape as the one used for Batman in the Mighty Micro series, but this is the first time it comes in a blue color. I was surprised that Batmite only came with one facial expression on his head. Now, while I often complain about this with CMF characters, the one face created is so well done that I don't mind at all. The oversized bat-shaped glasses are a perfect accessory for a Batman fanatic. The geeky grin and buck teeth show us this character isn't evil-spirited, but just overzealous in his fandom. The blue Batman cowl is another unique piece. The bent right ear not only matches the character's appearance in the comic books, but it also adds that sloppy cosplay costume scene with the rest of the figure. I instantly thought how this cowl could be switched out with other Batman minifigures, for people wanted to do some stop motion or mock work that has Batman beaten up. For his accessories, Batmite came with the stand piece to create that dynamic pose we talked about earlier, and a 2x3 printed orange tile piece. The printing on the tile piece recreates the cover of Detective Comics number 27, but with some nice Lego twists. The attention to detail that Lego put in recreating this cover is amazing. Looking at the actual cover and this piece side by side just highlights the care Lego takes in designing these pieces. Now having the first appearance of Batman is not only a great match for the super fan, but also a great connection to the Batman figure from the series that has him wearing that original costume from this comic book. Batmite is by far my favorite minifigure included in the DC Superhero CMF series. I'm not only excited to finally get Batmite added to this ever-expanding superhero minifigure roster, but the figure is extremely well-crafted. Every piece in creating this character is unique, and the amount of care taken by the design team shines through. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.